afternoon. David here, weekly week look. Today is Friday, 6th of July. Um, was it five to five in the afternoon? So markets live at the moment. We're looking at a November contract 2018. We've got the yearly chart in front of us, uh, monthly candles, and this has given us confidence all the way through with this nice trend that we're now in at the moment. Uh, here we are trading at 172. Broken through resistance here, which we identified as swing high 164, which was our original Elliott wave count. And um, I've got a count here. Say if we call this one, ray one, we're moving mouse up, mouse, sorry, mouse up here, coming back here. And I've got a wave count coming up here at 208 on, if we say this is one, two, and a three, we're in a three now that's going parabolic. Cartier eyes are the left here. You can see that nothing pokes out as sort of heavy resistance here. Now we've cleared this last high here. Um, obviously what I like to go sort of put in place is a sort of 10 pound a ton markers. So we'll look for 180 next, 190 and then 200. But we've risen 10 pound a ton this week. Um, all looks positive. Let's pop down in the lower time frames. Pop down on the monthly chart. Uh, let's have a look. Well, what can I do? Uh, monthly contract. Here we go. And we can identify this big cream candle here, a stellar month. Uh, we can see this hammer current calendar we saw last month, which was also giving us confidence. This trend is still on the up at the present moment. Pop down into weekly. Weekly contract here. And we can see this stellar month uh, week where we've got here, big cream candle here. All above, all above moving averages, swing looking good, moving high, high volume with a, um, a forward facing market. Pop down into the daily chart, pop down into the um, uh, real time. Um, Cash eye here, the left here, we've got the monthly uh, chart in front of us. Then we have the daily at the moment. Uh, if we just bring that a bit better, scroll down to that. So on original Elliott Wave count, we were looking uh, for a high here to come at 164, which we came up and tested, fell back, which we all know about now. We broke through on Monday, this high here, 164. And obviously since then, we've seen a high of uh, 163. So nine pound a ton rise um, this week. Right, where do we go for here? Let's scroll down here and have a look. Well, if you look on this monthly, one well, moving my mouse over here, monthly chart here, um, I'd look for a 10% gain, which would take us easy in line to 180. So. Let's say we're looking at a target of 180, another 10 pound a ton. Is that achievable? Well, quite easily we can see that at the moment. We've risen now five days in a row. Looks as though we're closing here positive again tonight. Looking down the 15 minute calendar, looks like we're closing around the 172. So the volume is quite good as well. This is the fifth day of a rise, so this will be day six. So if the market closed somewhere around the 172 tonight, See no reason why we shouldn't see a push up to test 75 on Monday, then look for some kind of move up to the 180. Uh, if you squad just down on this chart here, you can see it doesn't take long for 200 to pop up here. We're not far away if we're moving within this range at the present moment. Um, market <coughs> has also gone sort of parabolic at the moment. We've got a good angle on it. So even if we do see uh, a pullback of 1%, 2%, it's a buying opportunity at the moment. Um, I would not look, look uh, to change my mind on this unless we saw a sort of daily penetration of a level of 168 uh, and then look for a retest 162. But even that would, with such a strong trend in place now, would only be seen again as a buying opportunity. So at the moment, it's all, 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 all looking upwards and I'll put an update this time next week. Thanks for watching.